What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV. And coming up next, we head to St. Petersburg, Florida to check out the Tampa Bay Rays at Tropicana Field play the Toronto Blue Jays. You guys aren't going to want to miss this one. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Okay, so we are located in St. Petersburg, Florida, on the west side of Tampa Bay. All right, beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. It's one of my favorite cities in the entire state of Florida and definitely one of my favorite cities in the Tampa Bay area. All right, so we're here at the St. Pete Pier. I'm going to pick up my wife and my kids because the parking garage we parked at was uh, pretty far for them to walk back on this hot day. So I told them to just wait for me. I'm going to go get them here. If you guys watched the two previous episodes, okay, we were at Pier Tiki right at the St. Pete Pier eating some good seafood and having some good drinks before we're headed to the Rays game. We we're also just walking around and hanging out here at the St. Pete Pier. This is one of our favorite places definitely to hang out on the weekends okay so we're gonna drive as you guys can see look at the beautiful scenery there look at downtown st pete absolutely beautiful i've done videos here at night they have a vibrant nightlife it's very family friendly and we're gonna drive i'm gonna give you guys a drive from downtown st pete and the st pete pier so you guys can see that that beautiful st petersburg scenery and we're gonna head to tropicana field the home of the tampa Bay Rays, formerly known as the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, now the Tampa Rays. All right, so they play at Tropicana Field. It's a dome stadium. It's a multi-purpose dome stadium. It's located here at St. Petersburg, Florida. It's been the ballpark of the Tampa Bay Rays of Major League Baseball since the team's inaugural season in 1998. So this is a pretty new team, guys, a new team. Okay, so they are actually in the process of getting a new stadium that was approved okay so i gave you guys a tour of the stadium previously i'll put the link up above in that uh in the description as well as you guys see i have done a lot of videos in st petersburg um there has been a approval for a new stadium with the entertainment district i guess they're going to put some affordable housing i'm not sure there's been some pushback for that stadium in the city of st petersburg and they also mention that they want to change the name to the St. Petersburg Rays, all right, which got a lot of pushback from residents and fans around the Tampa Bay area because they feel like the Tampa Bay Rays represent not only St. Petersburg, but all of the cities that are entrenched in the Tampa Bay area, Tampa, Clearwater, uh, Indian Shores, you've got Bradenton, Brandon, Riverview, Ruskin, Dunedin I, I mean just to name a few right everybody in the Tampa Bay area loves this team so that got a lot of pushback I don't think that's going to happen but the team is going to stay in St. Pete they're going to build a beautiful ballpark uh, I don't want to get too much into it you can look it up and check it out online but Tropicana Field is their home they're having uh, issues as far as keeping the stadium full because a lot of people say it's hard to get over the bridge and commute to the games to watch the Rays, right? Uh, the stadium is not always at full capacity. 
and they are a very competitive team. They're really good. They're always in the playoffs or in the playoff hunt. They've been to the World Series a few times. My Los Angeles Dodgers beat them in the 2020 World Series. Okay, so they're always competitive. They're really good. And I can't wait to go to a game and watch them today. But all right, you guys, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit once we approach the ballpark and let's enjoy the game. We found parking right across the street and it was free. We didn't have to pay a dime to park. What do you know? How about that? That's awesome. I've never been to a professional baseball game where I was able to park for free provided by Tropicana Field. All right, you guys, we're approaching the gate. We're going to give our tickets and we can't wait to head in and check out this beautiful ballpark. Well, that's pretty good. All right, we made it to Tropicana Field. We are inside now. We gave our tickets to the ticket guys in the front, past security, and it's awesome. They let you bring cameras into the feet, into the stadium. All right, so pretty cool. Right when you come in, you see it's very decorated, representing Tampa. You'll see the legends there on the wall. They've got the makeshift baseball field painted on the floor here, which is awesome for the kids to run around and pretend like they're major leaguers as well. And very tropical. Right, we're at Tropicana Field. We are in Tampa, Florida. We are surrounded by water from east, west, and south, okay, and parts of the north. Okay, so absolutely beautiful stadium. I think it's underrated, in my opinion. Let's check it out.
cars everywhere. Huh? Evan Longoria, David Price, Ben Zobris, Fred McGriff. Man, they made a whole uh, like. Oh, that's pretty dope. Let me see, watch out there. Longoria. Kevin Kiermaier. All right, you guys, I thought this was pretty cool. As you're walking through the stadium here, they have little memorabilia sections, right? I would say like a Hall of Fame type display. You see all the Tampa Bay Rays jerseys that they've had from their inception. I love these jerseys. I've always thought they were cool, really nice uniforms. And this is what I like about this stadium is they preserve a lot of their history as you guys have seen. But let's head to our seats and let's go check out the ball game.
All right, you guys, uh, the video is coming to a close. I hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds of being at a Tampa Rays baseball game here at Tropicana Field. All right, you guys can look back at this video once they move on to their new stadium. And I'm sure it's going to be even 10 times better than this. And this one is awesome to me. Uh, probably the best concession stand area I've ever seen at a baseball game next to, I would say, Chase Field. Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona is absolutely amazing as well with the retractable roof. I think in Tampa, you definitely need a retractable roof because you want that sunshine. Look at it. It's a beautiful day outside. That will, I would say that is the only negative being a dome stadium. They should have had some glass or some type of retractable roof, which I'm sure they're going to do with the new ballpark. So you can see that beautiful sunshine and check out the bay views as well being in the stadium. But all right, you guys, I'm out. Thanks for watching the video. I love St. Petersburg, Florida. If you're ever out here in the Bay Area and it's baseball season, you got to go check out the Rays. It is a fun experience. If you're with friends or family or just by yourself, I'm sure you will enjoy the ball game. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one as we head back to Tampa, Florida. I'm out.